guys, it's Sean. Um, I'm actually making this video in my SUV. What can I tell you guys? Um, oh, first of all, I just want to say thank you everyone for, you know, your commentary and your feedback and, um, for all the messages that you sent me. Um, I don't really have, I don't have internet right now, so I don't have, like, the means to, um, write back or reply as quickly as I would like to, so, um, when I do reply, um, I'm just letting you know, sorry, it's a little late, <laughs> I do my best, um, but, uh, it's really bright out here, um, I think the latest thing that I could share with you guys, and it was actually kind of a coincidence, um, I had just finished posting and editing my, uh, video for um, it's tea time 2010 and right when I was getting up to go and I just packed up all my stuff I stood up and um, this gentleman behind me asked me a question about his iPhone and he was having a hard time getting back to the home screen or whatever so I just helped him out real quick and I was I was actually leaving so I could uh, go back to my apartment and uh, meet up with my guests so I could do her hair um, and she was due, you know, to arrive, you know, in a good 30 minutes or whatever. So I was like, okay, I really got to get out of here. And, um, you know, Starbucks, I don't know, like 10 minutes away or whatever. But, um, so I, uh, right when I was getting ready to leave, he started asking me, you know, like, oh, are you, what's your ethnicity? Are you Native American? And then, um, he kind of struck up a conversation about that. And, you know, it was, it was whatever, you know, I was like, okay, you know, this guy who's, wants to talk and, you know, uh, let me know some things, I don't know, like, share what he, his knowledge about, you know, American Indians or whatever, and, um, then all of a sudden, he, he out of the blue asked me, he's like, do you, do you have a boyfriend? And I'm like, oh, God, okay. <laughs> you know, this guy is like, you know, in his, in his 40s, maybe late 30s, I can't really tell, you know, he's a little overweight, he had some gray hair, he had a lot of hair, but he had some gray hair. Um, he was in cargo shorts and like a t-shirt and um, I told him, you know, I was like, I, I don't know, I was like, I have a girlfriend. <laughs> and he's like, he stopped and, and he kind of whispered and he beckoned me to, to come closer and I was like, okay. And uh, he's like, how long have you known? And I was like, since I was four, like I've, I've always known. And, um, ah. Uh, man that just that <laughs> conversation um, really rubbed me the wrong way after that because he started to um, assume that I wasn't a believer in God or I didn't have faith or something like that because he immediately started to go into well I believe that you know and he's like I know you probably don't want to hear this he's like but I, I believe that you know it's a mental thing an environmental thing um, you know, it's like, I, and I have some, some, uh, gay friends, you know, and, and they struggle, but, you know, they, you know, they're not, you don't, you know, live that lifestyle anymore or whatever, and, um, he started telling me, he's like, you know, you're meant to, to marry a man and to, and to have someone's kids someday, you know, I was like, I truly believe that you're, you're a beautiful lady, and I'm like, oh, <laughs> you gotta be kidding me, like, it was one thing for him to tell me, okay, yeah, you're a beautiful lady, fine. Um, tell me that I'm going to marry a man, okay, you know. But when he said I meant to have someone's kids someday and all this other stuff, I was like, I was like, you know, I don't, I had to tell him, you know, I was like, I don't identify as being gay, you know, I'm actually identify as being transgendered. Um, and so I just felt like he was way off base with that. And, um, after that, he started telling me about, well, you know, he started talking to me about the Bible and this and that, and, like, about Jesus and how that wasn't, you know, in God's plan and it's not natural, and I'm like, dude, like, I've heard your side all of my life, you know, and it's one thing for you to, you know, ask me questions and to be sincere, um, but it's a whole nother to start trying to start to assume that I am 
not of faith because I'm he thinks I'm gay or whatever um, and that uh, you know I need to know the truth about the Bible and it's like I, I, I was trying really really hard not to get offended um, and you know what I knew he was kind of off off track anyway because um, when I, I did try and compliment him rather than you know counter argue with him because I really had to go <laughs> I didn't have the time you know or the energy um, you know I was like you know well I think it's a good thing that you know you're trying to to share with others you know um, God and this and that and and immediately after I said that he was he was like wait are you, are you saying that we could have relations and I'm like what <laughs> Like, did that just totally fly over your head, dude? What are you talking about? Like, I didn't say anything like that, you know? And, um, at that point, you know, I was, I was pretty much done. And, and at the very last minute, you know, he was like, well, if you want, he's like, if you're willing, he's like, I, I can send you information, you know, about this. And, and I'm like, no, I had to politely decline. Um, because once, once he said, um, well, when you... When you die and, and judgment is passed and, and God asks you, you know, um, if you had heard the word of God, you tell him that, we'll call him Bob, that, that Bob tried to tell you the, the truth. Um, and I, <laughs> that, that was the last straw. At that point, like, my friend or my guest or whatever, she, she was... Oh, long, she had been there a good 20 minutes already, and I, I just, I was like, you know, I gotta go, you know, I'm sorry, goodbye. Um, you know, and that, that whole thing really shook me, you know, I, it really did bother me until the very, all the way through the night into the next morning, um, and I actually had a conversation with my girlfriend about it, you know, when she woke up, you know, and, and I told her, you know, like, sometimes I do have my doubts, you know, sometimes you know, no matter how much faith I have right now, or whatever it is that I believe, you know, there's always, I, I'm open-minded, you know, to a certain degree, and there's always going to be a challenge, um, and there's always going to be another side, you know, you have to remember that, you know, um, the world was created with many different personalities, and many different views, and many different beliefs, and, the best you can do is, you know, listen to every side and to evaluate what's best for you and to, you know, be strong and be knowledgeable in whatever it is that you believe. Because um, really that's that's the only way to, um, you know, keep your hope and to keep your head up and to be confident. And, um, you know, after that conversation, you know, it just really helped to... Um, reinforce the fact that I know that the best thing that I can do for myself is, is to continue studying and to continue learning um, and be open to the experiences that I'm going to have regardless of whether they're good or bad so um, I just want to share, you with that guy, share that with you guys and um, uh, I'll see you later bye